What is going on guys, Ninjok here. Today I'll be playing Ultimate Alliance 1 and for this video I'll be revisiting it because I mean, I mean, man, I haven't played this game in forever and I'm making a bunch of save data. As you could probably tell by the, the amount of things I have here. I mean, I had way more than that when I first started when I was young. But Sadly, Red Ring of Death on that Xbox 360, so without any fresh said guys, let's see how the gameplay and cutscenes hold up to today. Damn, looks cool. Man, voice sounds so different. Spyman looks cool. Oh god. Captain America won't shut up. Wolverine's like, shut up boy, I'll do my own orders. I like how he even just you know, just scrapes them. Yeah, knife to the head, or should I say claw to the head. Here I come. Four. <laughs> Here I am. I just make this any day news. And he looks so ugly too, and... Oh my god, will you shut up? Yeah, tell him Spider-Man, at least you age compared to the other. Oh, and the intro! <laughs> yeah! Boom! At least he knows that's trouble. Gotta like that detail. Too late! <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Any day routine he's like. What are you girls looking at? Best description, what the F are you guys doing here? Anyway, we finally can get to the actual game, because I mean, otherwise if it took more than that, I would have cut it and... HOT DAMN! No thank you, no thank you, no thank you, and by the way, if you didn't know, you actually get to play as everybody after you beat the game on normal or harder, um, after you beat it once. Deadpool. And I mean, Deadpool, damn yeah. Anyway, um, I'll be right back back um, after we have a look at these things and wish I got the hero packs before they were discontinued but anyway I'll be right back once I get my setup. Alright we are back and this is the setup I run. Symbiote Spider-Man, Weapon X Deadpool, Classic Moon Knight because it's my favourite and Classic Ghost Rider because well it's the best he looks out of the bunch but anyways if any first said let's do this. We got a job to do. Press the wrong button. Whoops. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I know how to get there ASAP. Let's do this. Plays everyone the characters in. Holy crap. I remember playing this as a kid. Liked it. But wow. <laughs> um, just, just wow. That's it. That's all I really have. Yeah, the the in-game cutscenes look horrible. Um, it's not the gameplay that looks horrible because I mean it doesn't actually look bad if you ask me. But um, that's coming from my view. Just bear in mind that. Um, but yeah, 
I like how every character has their own voice lines and stuff. Um, <laughs> let, let's see how we kill him. Yeah, land on the knife, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah, just fly around. Hey, it's Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about your description. Die, Scorpion. What the hell? They're all the way back here. Um. Yeah, just just play aggressive, everyone. Yeah, don't mind me. I'll just run Moon Knight. And the hell. And these guys are so easy. Maybe it's my mind or something, but do I find this game so easy or normal? Ah, great. You know what? That's it. Come on, just just give everything all everything. And he's dead. I remember when characters had those text things instead of uh dialogue. Man, the OG days. Just <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember asking myself why can't they get the actual, you know, characters to talk, but maybe it's probably due to licensing or probably the directors being lazy, but I think, yeah, it might be something to deal with laziness, who knows, but I'm guessing that because, you know, games didn't mind it back then. Oh yeah, the loading times, how they would have all the different characters. Yep, and boring in-game cutscenes, whatever, and yeah, Thanks for you know what, SOS. I'll skip ahead till we get to another bad guy. Alright, we are back, and let's see who our boss is that we have to verse, and trust me, this will actually be interesting. If it isn't my old buddy, Dare Bullseye. It's not like I did it for fun. Yeah, yeah. Now there you go. Come on. Oh yeah, and there's also lines for if you're playing as Electra. Which yeah. Uh let me just say I didn't pick Electra because not just the uh, hype for dead obviously he's a much better character, but he's way more powerful and plus Electra's so underpowered anyway. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, come on, Bullseye. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, you Spider Woman, that will do it. Um, but yeah, Spider Woman, if I gotta say something about her, um, I'm surprised that she's actually really good and. Yeah. That was the one character I actually didn't mind out of the female characters when I was young out of the uh, Ultimate Lines. That was the only one I actually enjoyed, while the rest of them were just crap. Just like every other, um,. Crappy character in this game. But, uh, yeah, that, that's interesting. Let's kill this guy! Yeah, that should do it. But, anyway, well, okay, let's kill this one, because why not? See what her B button is. What the hell's that? Well, anyways, uh, be right back. Let's see how awful the, uh, in game cutscenes are after you beat a mission. Oh my god, why does it look like piss? Why is he always Damn, look at this horrible lighting. Wait, Iron Man? Hello, team. Oh my god, he sounds crap without uh, Robert Downey. It's 40 stories of heaven on a Oh my god. Jeez, this is so painful to watch. Uh, <laughs> look at how ugly Four looks. What the hell? Spider doesn't even look close to sitting there, neither does Captain America. Oh my god, anyways, I'll be right back and see what my thoughts are on this game. You know what, guys? I'm gonna record off this, because, wow, a review! I can finally actually do it in a game! No way! What the hell? This is no review! What the, what the, what even? Oh my god, that has to be the dumbest name I've ever seen for a game mode. Definitely in the top 5 worst game mode names ever. So, how does Ultimate Alliance 1 stand up with its front cover and back cover? Let's find out. Uh, by far, amazing front cover, let's be honest here. It's so good. Even with those things blocking away. Back cover, it's pretty decent, but 
I only like that part, but yeah, sorry about that. Uh, when I was young, I tried to get it off, but yeah, we know how that happened. Anyway, um, so the manual pretty much shows what it looks like. It's, yeah, pretty cool still. And the disc, I like how they chose something different, did the same thing. I don't know, I just like it when games always do something different with like the game discs. It just really shows that, you know, they put care into it, but. Not all of them are bad being different. Some are good being the same, but yeah, this one in particular shows a great example of the different side. Gameplay wise, it's still pretty fun and enjoyable. I really like it. A lot of characters have a good amount of outfits and yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty fun. Hell, even the DLC characters have awesome outfits. In fact, I could say they have the best ones. Um, I wish I got to play as them, but nope. Uh, Marvel and Activision yet again, yes, Activision because they're the ones that helped out Marvel with this, uh, they did not patch it on the 360, which is a real piss off, but, uh, they apparently did that with the Xbox One and PS4, which I know they did, and I'm still pissed they didn't do it for the 360 and PS3, even that the PS3 got it later on, because let's be real here, um, the PS3 was not available at the time, so... I guess it makes sense not for the PS3, but how on earth do you remove the 360 one? You know what was cool about this game is that each version had different DLCs, like this version, the 360, had Magneto, Sabretooth, Venom, and Doctor Doom, which are awesome villains. Then we have the hero side, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, which is one of the coolest looking characters of the bunch, in my opinion. Uh, Hawkeye, as well as the Hulk, which, yeah, I wanted to play as him, but I got to play as Cyclops. He's a very fun character, and he's like a nice all-around character. But too bad I couldn't get to keep him, because that was somebody else that had the gold edition, which... Pretty annoying how it didn't transfer over to me. So, what about the PS2 version? Well, you had Yandu, nope, not the Guns, the Girls who are known as the, uh... The black and like green striped character. I don't know who he is. Uh, you gotta see it for yourself. Captain Marvel, the male guy. Yep, the male version, not the female like we know today. Uh, black Widow was playable, even that. She doesn't really look all that useful, but uh, wow, I didn't think she would be playable. And Hawkeye, which is a downgrade from his special ability. Instead of the uh, bow and arrow attack, instead he gets like a uh, explosive tip just bouncing around. Pretty lame. Final thoughts in this game. Four players is the meat of this game. It's so enjoyable with four people. You can do it so with solo, but four people just brings it up to a whole new level. You can play two different ways. You can help each other, or you can compete against each other, which is so cool. Wish games did that with campaigns like this, that are campaign only experiences. Still wish I got the Xbox One version with uh, Venom and you name it. But hey, I hope uh, Marvel brings it back. So yeah, I, I, I really hope it happens. So thank you for a set, everyone. My, my, my thoughts is still worth playing, even if it doesn't age. But if you can't deal with aging problems then best you don't actually get the game but anyways that's if you can't deal with it but me I can deal with really many things so anyways that that's me in my opinion so Fanny first said everyone thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave a like and subscribe until then have yourselves an excellent day and I'll see you guys until my next video